हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इन ट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम इन टूडे शॉर्ट वीडियो i will talk about what is registration.tuml file especially in the context of enrolling a linux device in intune we will explore its purpose where it is located and the type of information it contains so let's first understand what is tuml means in the linux world in simple term a tuml file in linux ubuntu is a configuration file written in toml toml stands for tom's obvious minimum language it is similar to other configuration file like json dot config or plist and are designed to be easy for both human and machine to read and write these files are used to store settings and preference for various applications or system component in linux world before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more now you can see that on my test machine microsoft edge browser as well as the microsoft intune application are already installed and and if you don't know how to install these applications you can refer my linux management using intune playlist and i will also provide the link in the description section now if i open the terminal and access the location and location is slash dot config slash intune slash registration dot tuml file we can see that it is saying that no such file or directory present on the device and if you want to access the same file using gui you can open the disk and then from here you can access the home folder and within home folder we have a folder called config and we can see that in that folder we don't have any intune file we don't have any configuration file related to intune so now what now what we are going to do we are going to start the enrollment of linux device in intune so to do this we have to click on the sign in and then we have to provide the username and password and now we have to start the registration so to do this i am going to click on register now i am getting an option to set up access and i have to click on begin but at this point of time if i am again going to access the same location we can observe that a file name called registration.tml file is created this file contains information such as account hint device hint and aad device hint the account hint information corresponds to the object id of the user initiating the device enrollment while the device hint refers to the intune device id which is automatically updated once the device is enrolled in the intune lastly the aad device hint represents the azure active directory device id we can also verify the same thing using gui method if we click on the disk management and then click on the home folder and if we click on the config file and within config file we can see that the folder called intune and within the intune folder we can find the file called registration.tml file if we open that file we can see the same information account hint 
device hint and add device hint now we can see that the device hint information is blank now let me close this file now let's proceed to enroll that device in intune so that i can demonstrate how the device information is automatically updated in the registration.tml file so let me click on begin and click on begin now we can see that device is enrolled in the intune portal and it is started checking the compliance status and if again we open the terminal and again access the same path we can see that the device hint information is automatically populated which is nothing but the intune device id and we can also verify using the gui method if we again click on the registration.tml file we can see that the device in information is automatically populated now just to show you the importance of this registration.tml file we can see that the device is enrolled in intune let me close this and if i open the disk and go to the home folder and within the config folder if you go to the intune folder and open the registration.tml file what i am going to do i am going to remove the device.hint from this information and let me save this file and close this now if i am trying to open the intune portal let me click on this and click on sign in we can see that it is asking me to authenticate again and if i am going to provide the username and password then it will re-enroll me in the intune again let me close this close this and again i am going to open the registration.tml file and i am going to save my device in information again let me save this let me close this and now if i am opening the microsoft intune portal app and click on sign in we can see that it automatically fetches the information and we can see that now it is checking the information so that's all i want to share and show you in this video in the next video i will show you some more interesting information about the relix enrollment in intune i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video